Greetings YouTube, Simon here and welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. Yes, Final Fantasy VIII, just when I thought I was done with this game and could move on with my life, somebody has to go and post something over at the GameFAQs message board of a little thing that I haven't yet done. And by golly, I am going to do it because it sounds pretty interesting. So today's video is going to be explaining to you how you can farm for the Aegis Amulet, quite a rare item. It teaches the fairly decent uh, evade junction to a guardian force so using this method you can get it on all six amongst other uses as well but i'm going to be showing you how you can farm as many of those ages amulets as you desire you want one you can get one you want a hundred for whatever reason you can get a hundred using this method now credit for this particular video actually goes to fizz fallen who made the post over at game facts and fizz fallen shared a video to this already from a japanese youtuber so um you know i couldn't understand any of that so i appreciate fizz fallen's instructions here on game facts and that's what i'm going to be sharing with you so what you need to do is actually have the ufo quest available in your game once the ufo has been defeated you have the poo poo card etc uh, you can no longer use this method so i've loaded an earlier save up in order to show this to you and you want to make your way through the poo poo side quest i can't believe i'm having to say the poo poo side quest again sounds so wrong <laughs> up until the point where you have the final battle against the ufo so if you don't know what i'm talking about go and check out one of my previous videos where i explain this entire side quest in detail for you and you're going to want to park the Ragnarok next to this forest. And that's because the final encounter will occur just outside the forest there. Uh, but we do actually need to do a random encounter in the forest first of all. So, first of all, let's just make sure our characters are set up. You're going to require Quistis, Squall and Selfie for this particular trick. And you're going to want to make sure they're junctioned as... Uh, I'm going to show you just a moment here. Um, it's actually really easy to set up. Just make sure that Quistis has break, 100 of them, junction to her status attack. That's all she needs. Squall just requires the treatment ability. Make sure he has the Siren Guardian Force. And make sure he has death junctioned to his status attack. Again, 100 of those for the maximum percentage. And make sure he has nothing on status defense. And then finally, Selfie is going to want... Uh, nothing on her status defense either. In particular, make sure she definitely doesn't have break junction to her status defense. That's the big thing. Uh, right, we first need to go ahead and make sure that we have summoned the Phoenix Pinion. Or the Phoenix Summon using the Phoenix Pinion. So for that, you will of course need the Item Command. Just go into any random battle to do this. Da, 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 da. Let's just use the speed up function. Item. And where is that beautiful Phoenix Pinion? Should be around here somewhere. Uh, there we go. I've got three of them. So Phoenix Pinion summons the Might of the Phoenix, which is a great item, actually. A great summon, a great Guardian Force, since it'll bring dead party members back to life. But you do need to have cast it once in battle for it to be summoned subsequent times in various other battles. Right, just go ahead and defeat this particular encounter as normal. Card them if you don't want to get experience, whatever the case may be. Doesn't really matter, just get through the fight. Now, if you've already used the Phoenix Pinion, or you just used one in that last battle in order to summon Phoenix, then you only need to do that once. Right, the next part of the setup is once again to go through a random enemy encounter here. And this time, what we're going to do is put Break onto Quistis and Selfie. Which means that let's just go ahead and use the uh, function here that allows us to do so quickly. First of all, we're going to use Quistis to attack Selfie. That will put her into break. And then she's going to do it on herself. So Squall will be the only party member left alive here. Uh, which means that we're then going to escape. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. You can also kill the enemies, but there's really no point. Why waste time with killing? Right, the next step is to go ahead and save in this forest. So make sure you don't overwrite any of the saves. And then we're going to quit. So remember, quitting in Final Fantasy VIII Remastered does a hard reset. Even if you don't actually quit the game, you only have to quit to the title screen. And there's no soft reset in this game. Right, so stick on no encounters at this point. So you don't get any random encounters. And that'll mean the next fight will be the UFO. There we go. Now... You're going to have to follow this strategy perfectly. And it only works if Phoenix activates. So Phoenix won't always work, unfortunately. I think it's 25% of the time. What we're going to do is start with Squall casting Treatment on Quistis. 
Let's just speed things up. The UFO won't do now, so you ain't got to worry about that. Uh, treatment on selfie. And then once both out, are out of break, we're going to use Quistis to attack Selfie to put her in break again. Quistis to attack Quistis to put her back in break. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, which is kind of annoying. There we go. Uh, and then Squall's going to attack himself, killing himself because he has Death Junction to his status attack. And, ah, uh, okay. Fortunate, unfortunate, I should say, uh, the Phoenix didn't get summoned. It doesn't matter. All we need to do is reload the save game. And try again. We don't need to do the setup process since we've done that already. We just need to make sure we stick on no encounters to avoid the random battles. Force the encounter against the UFO and repeat the process. And like I say, it's a 25% chance of getting the Phoenix summoned. So pretty much just have to repeat it, the battle, multiple times until you get lucky. And see so uh, Phoenix come into play. So let's go ahead and treatment selfie. I'll just show you this one routine once more, then I'll skip ahead to when we actually get Phoenix uh, treatments on Quistis. Let's speed things up. Never know, though. This could be the time. Uh, let's attack Selfie. And let's attack Quistis. Doesn't always work first time on Quistis. I'm not sure why that is. Need to check that she's got nothing on status defense that's hindering that. Um, anyway, have Squall attack himself. And still no Phoenix. Any luck this time? Yes, we've got Rebirth Flame. So this was my sixth attempt without Phoenix. Uh, five attempts without Phoenix. My sixth attempt succeeded. Now, while Phoenix is casting, we need to be escaping. So make sure you're holding down the escape button. That's really important. Because if the UFO dies, then uh, it's a no-go. Okay, so the UFO survived, which is good. But we managed to escape from battle during the animation. I mean, look at that. We got the Aegis Amulet, which is perfect. Just what we wanted. So now look, you can see that the UFO is still there, even though we took its loot. And we can actually repeat that process, which means that we just need to make sure we save first. And then we can reload for the hard reset and keep going at the UFO for more Aegis Amulets. It's really that simple. Uh, let's just go ahead and save over our previous slot. And then reload and start the process again. So yeah, just to clarify, I've just reloaded my save. Resetting the RNG back to normal. And now it's just a case of repeating what we just did. So we'll treatment on Selfie. We shall treatment on Quistis. Who knows, maybe we'll get two in a row here. I doubt it, but you never know, do you? You never know. Uh, break on Selfie once more. I've no idea why this works, by the way. I just know it does work. So, <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters really, isn't it? And then, of course, we attack Squall. Oh, game over. Yeah, there we go. So, third attempt this time, which wasn't too bad at all. Uh, let's just speed this up. As wonderful as this animation is, we've seen it already. Escaped, yep. Yeah, there we have it. Our second Aegis Amulet. So, I'll just show you those. I'm not going to bother farming anymore since this is on a redundant save file anyway. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum oh, there they are. Look, two Aegis Amulets. So, that's two Evade Junction abilities we could teach to our Guardian Forces. And just to clarify, this is quite a rare item. You know, normally you're only supposed to kill this UFO once. Uh, I think Eden or one of the Guardian Forces comes with Evade Junction already. But apart from that, it's really rare. So, to be able to get this as many times as you want, let's be honest. Pretty OP method, gotta say. So, yeah, as I mentioned, a huge uh, shout out to Fizz Fallen for putting this into the Game Facts uh, thread. So, I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description as well. But, yeah, thanks for checking out the video, guys. And once again, that's it for me and Final Fantasy VIII. And, uh, yeah, at least until next time somebody uh, makes me aware of something else. Hmm, okay. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>